WRMC Medical Complex in Newport, part of the White River Health System, and uh, visiting with Courtney Shackelford today, and we welcome you to the program. Thank you. We've got to find out a little bit about Courtney, and uh, we talked a little bit before we got on air, but uh, found a lot of information. But let's talk about uh, let's talk about you first. Where are you from? Where you grew up? And education-wise, what what have you been doing there in your early stages of your life? My life career. Well, I was born and raised in Wiener, Arkansas, just down the road. Um, I received, well, I graduated high school from Wiener, mm -hmm. and then I went to Arkansas State for undergrad. Okay. Um, I did a few, did a few different things between undergrad and graduate school, and um, I went back for OT, okay. um, a doctorate program at ASU in Jonesboro, okay. and completed that um, last year. Okay. And what is, what is OT? What does that mean? What is, what is OT? Let's let's go right there immediately. Yeah. Um, so occupational therapy um, emphasizes occupation, which is there's a, a broad definition in this in our my field uh -huh. of occupation. That could be for children play, um, for working adults that could be their actual occupation, their job, um, or caring for their children, the roles that they play in in their life, and in in elderly patients that might be volunteer work or um, taking care of a spouse or just taking care of themselves on a daily basis. Um, so occupation um, means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. Sure. And we emphasize what's important to them. So if um, an illness or injury has prevented them from doing the things that they want to or need to do, um, we re rehabilitate that skill or okay. whatever skills are lacking so that they can get back to life as they knew it before, illness or injury. Yep. So. Uh, let me ask you this, why occupational therapy along the way? And you said you'd done several things in between school. I mean, mm -hmm. when did you decide that maybe this is what you would want to do and, and this would be where okay. you would best serve, you know, those folks that you do yeah. serve? Well, I think I'm a mom of three. Okay. And um, watching them grow and develop, I found some interesting um, challenges along the way. Sure. <laughs> and I first looked at pediatric occupational therapy, and that's interesting. Um, but once I got into OT, um, I really love the adult population. I okay. kind of found myself more interested in that. Um, I got into OT um, initially. It's a really growing occupation. Um, I say that word a lot. <laughs> um, it's got the scope is growing in Arkansas nowadays. You, when you see a PT, you're probably going to see an OT there too. Um, and it wasn't always the case. And so I thought, well, it's a good job opportunity. Um, and now that I'm in it and I know more about about the um, the work that we do, mm -hmm. it's wonderful to get that first hand, or I guess like a front row seat to healing, if you will. Absolutely, it's that one-on-one -on -one interaction with patients that you don't get in other fields of medicine as much. You do, but with therapy, it's you know me and the patient. We're and you really can see immediate results. Yeah, yes. yeah. Yes, you get to you get to see those results as they occur, and it's just super super rewarding. So. Going back to your school, kind of tell us about some of the training that you have to have. I mean, the years of, of, of school that it takes, and uh, mm -hmm. you mentioned about the master's program. Kind of expand upon that a little bit. Okay. So you, to, to qualify or to, um, to get into the OT doctoral program at ASU, you have to have a bachelor's degree. Okay. Um, my bachelor's degree was in radiologic sciences, so I did CT, MRI was my emphasis in that. Um, I worked for a group of family practice um, physicians in Jonesboro doing that for eight to ten years, wow. around about. <laughs> um, and then this program actually started in um, Jonesboro in Arkansas State mm -hmm. three years ago okay. or four. So it wasn't available until then. I was really interested in it. So when it came up, I I jumped in there and thought well, I'll try it. So this is going to go <laughs> yeah. and then here you yeah, are today yeah. and then yeah. seeing patients and uh, seeing patients at WRMC Medical Complex here in Newport. Uh, mm -hmm. Tell us tell us when you're here and tell us mm -hmm. how exactly if we needed to see you if we need services how to how, how do we get those services? Well um, I'm here three days a week Okay. Um, and that is you know we're going to build more hours as the patients have needs. Flexible yeah. Yep. Um, I'm in Batesville on other days as well, so okay. I'm working full-time between the two locations. 
um, if a patient wants to be seen for occupational therapy and what that would in um, um, they would have some sort of injury in this type of setting this particular setting I can rehabilitate patients who had stroke okay. um, or nerve injuries um, any kind of pain in the upper extremity from the fingertips to the shoulder and in between I can work with um, they would just need to go to their physician um, ask about physical therapy or um, occupational Patient. therapy and then um, ask for a referral and if the physician sees fit then they'll either send it to us um, or they could give it to the patient to bring over to us. Usually they'll just send it to us and then right. we'll contact the patient and set them up. Yeah, before we get off here, I, I, I did want to mention this. You hear of, of physical therapy a lot and mm -hmm. you don't hear of much about the correlation between physical therapy and occupational therapy. And yeah. You mentioned that earlier. You said, you know, if you, you can go from here to here and, yeah. and, and kind of get the, yeah. it's, a, it's a little different therapy, no it doubt. It is different, no yeah. doubt. but they complement each other. Um, oftentimes when I'm like um, we have patients who have both OT and PT mm -hmm. um, at the same time to work on different needs different skills or different weaknesses that we can help to strengthen um, in this type of setting or in orthopedics for instance I would um, work on the upper extremity mm -hmm. um, and then the phys you know it's the lines are a little blurred but for the most part that's the way it would go from the hands to the shoulder um, and also stroke rehabilitation. Functional cognition is something we work on too if someone is having some difficulty remembering things. Sure. Um, we can work on that, uh, work with that. We can help them to modify daily tasks to make them easier. Right. Um, if we cannot rehabilitate the skill or help them to get strong enough to do it, we can change the occupation there you go. so that it's easier for them to there do. You go. That's awesome stuff. Awesome yeah, stuff. I love it. Courtney it's Shackelford and, 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 uh, from Wiener, Arkansas, and at mm -hmm. WRMC Medical Complex in Newport, and also at WRMC up in Batesville, part of the White River Health System. We thank you so much for taking time. Thank you. And, and uh, if you need her services, like she said, just get your uh, primary care physician to get your referral to see her. Thank you so much. Thank you.